Okay, so okay, so as as I mentioned earlier, we had seen a synchronous flip flop such as D flip flop, T flip flop, J K flip flop, and in the previous class as well, you are already learned about the uh, lash. You you have the D lash, J K lash, gated D lash, and etc. So now we are going to see what are the difference between synchronous flip flop and asynchronous flip flop. Okay, for the synchronous flip flop, input transfer on the triggered edge of the clock, which is data transfer synchronously with the clock pass. Okay, so every time the the output here, okay, the output of the synchronous flip flop, okay, akan berubah dengan kamu punya clock pass. Okay, it Tak kisahlah, it's either for, uh, falling edge or rising edge. But for the asynchronous flip flop, input effect flip flop state, which is your output, independent of the clocks. Okay, some okay untuk asynchronous, dia punya output ni sometimes depending on the clock in pass or sometimes dia tak dependent depending on this clock in pass. Okay, so the asynchronous flip flops normally labeled by a preset. Okay, you have the preset, which is labeled by P, R, E, and then you have a bar here. So you know that this one here is an active flow. And direct, okay, which is this preset here, kamu nak gunakan sebagai direct set. And clear, which is, you see the, this, uh, this label here, C, L, R, and then another bar dekat atas ni means that this is another Apa ni? Active flow, okay, which is every time you put a zero of zero dekat sini, so it will direct reset. So this is the this is the symbol of the asynchronous flip flop. Okay, so you have a preset dekat atas ni, and then you have a clear kat bawah. Okay, the rest akan follow the previous punya synchronous flip flop lah. Okay, in this case here kita pakai JK asynchronous flip flop. Okay, so you have an input J K and then satu lagi input which is kamu punya clock pulse and then you have another input which is we call it as an asynchronous input which is consists of preset and clear and two output q and q bar so how this asynchronous flip flop works okay kalau kamu letak kosong pada preset and you put one to your clear so what happen is the output dekat sini akan always Set. Okay, bila kamu letak kosong kat sini, if you put zero dekat preset and then put one to your clear, so the output of this queue here always one. Okay, so this mode here we call it as an asynchronous mode lah. Okay, regardless of your clock impulse, sama ada the falling edge, rising edge, the, out, the output always one. Okay, and then kalau kamu letak satu, okay, if you give one to your preset and Give zero to your clear. What happened here is the output of this queue here will always reset. Okay, dia akan jadi kosong. Okay, so the, regardless of your C input here, uh, C clock kat sini. Okay, your clock input kat sini regardless either is falling edge, rising edge, the output always zero. Okay, and then if you put one dekat preset, clear also you put one. So what happened here? This one here, the output of the queue depending on the JK input. Okay, barulah kita tengok pada input JK. Okay, kalau kosong-kosong. Okay, dia akan tidak berubah. Kosong satu, satu kosong and satu-satu we follow following the JK true table. Okay, so this one here we call it as a synchronous. Okay, bila kamu letak satu-satu means that the flip-flop here will become synchronous flip-flop which is the output of Q depending on the on, on your input dekat sini. Okay, so let's look at example of characteristic table for asynchronous JK flip-flop. So this is the, apa ni kita panggil dia sebab, this is the symbol of the asynchronous JK flip-flop. Okay, you have a preset, you have the clear, and then you have Two input J and K as well as your clock input and this is your output Q and Q bar. So let's look at this uh, true table here. Okay, so whenever you put one, 
one, okay, setiap kali kamu letak satu, you give one, one to your preset and clear. So, the output of JK, okay, output JK ni akan depend pada, uh, the output of Q kat sini akan depending of the JK inputs. Okay, because this is a positive edge trigger, means is every rising edge and then the output will be uh, akan berubah lah according to your input. If you put 0, 0, so what happened to your Q? Q tidak berubah. 0, 1, you are going to reset. 1, 0, you going to set. And 1, 1, you going to forget. Okay, and then if you put zero dekat preset, okay, letak kosong kat preset, letak satu kat clear. So, what happen here is, okay, if you put zero, one, so the output Q ni akan always satu. Okay, akan always high. Okay, you see, when zero, one, okay, the output of Q always high. Regardless of your input JK and your clock, sama ada is falling edge ataupun rising edge. Okay, if you put this one is zero and preset is one. Okay, yang ni, your second ni. So again, regardless of your JK input as well as your clock input, the output always zero. And if you're going to put zero zero, so this is not available lah. Okay, kalau kamu nak preset and clear at the same time tak boleh, not. Available. Okay, means that you need to choose sama ada kamu nak preset ataupun kamu nak clear at one. Okay, so let's look at this uh, example here. Okay, you but we are going to draw the output waveform for asynchronous JK flip flop given the timing diagram as below. Okay, so this is your clock inputs. Okay, kita draw dulu kita punya, what we call here, kita punya asynchronous JK flip-flop. Okay, kamu ada preset kat sini. And then you have a clear kat sini. Clock. And this is your J and K. Okay, so this is your Q and Q1. Okay, so according to this input here, Okay, of your preset and clears, then you're going to find out what is your Q. Okay, so kalau macam ni, okay, I advise you, okay, draw a straight line of each of this, uh, what we call here, preset dengan clear dulu. Okay, kita draw dulu straight line untuk every edge, okay, setiap, setiap edge of your preset and clear inputs. Okay, so this one here, this is your preset. Okay, kamu draw straight line. This is your preset. Draw straight line. And then this clear. This is your straight line. Okay, so this is the initial value of your Q, which is the value here is kosong. Okay, the initial value of Q. Okay, you can see here. From here. Okay, daripada sini ke sini. Okay, your preset is zero while clear is one. Okay, kamu letak kosong kat sini, clear is 1. So, what happen to your Q? Q akan always 1. Okay, so that's why kamu lukis. Okay, dia akan jadi 1. Okay, means that you're going to preset dekat sini. Okay, and somehow, when dekat sini, okay, in, in this region here, okay, you see the preset 0, eh, sorry, the preset 1, okay, the pre preset is 1 and clear is 1. Okay, daripada sini ke sini, you see the preset is 1 and clear is 1. So, what are you going to do? Okay, daripada sini, this region here, okay, this is region 1 and this is region 2. So, this region 2, you need to the output of Q will depend of on your JK lah. Okay, so kamu kena tengok pada JK. Okay, since this JK here, this is a positive edge trigger. So, kamu kena draw another straight line every rising edge of your clock input. So, kita draw straight line sampai sini. This is another straight line. Straight line for every edge trigger. 
Okay, and then kita akan lihatlah kita punya input of JK. Okay, so in this case, the let's lah the input of JK always one one. Okay, kalau input JK one one, so kita recall back our JK flip flop. Okay, so when you put zero zero, Q akan jadi Q. Zero one, this is reset. One zero, kamu nak set and bila one one, it become token. Okay, so now what happen is bila J and K always one one, so the output always token. Okay, so that's why from here to here, okay, dia akan follow previous punya Q lah. Okay, so this is the region one, kita panggil dia sebagai asynchronous. Okay, region two, kita dah buat synchronous. Okay, so from here, okay, so this first region H, so what happened? Since the Q is one, so dia akan jadi toggle until next project edge okay and then previously the q is zero and then the next project edge akan toggle okay the, the the output kat sini akan toggle every project edge from here to next project edge and then it will toggle again sampailah sini okay when sampai sini okay, supposedly dia kena toggle sampai ujung ni sampai sini which is this and the, the next project edge but At the middle of this uh, apa ni, clock input here, okay, kamu force the flip-flop, okay, with a clear. Kamu tengok kat sini, kat sini kamu dah letak 01. Okay, which is you going to do a clear. So, that's why here dekat sini dia akan automatic jadi kosong. Okay, so this is a region number 3. So, saya panggil yang ni, this region number 3 daripada sini ke sini. So, this is another asynchronous flip-flop, JK flip-flop. Okay, ada soalan tak? Up until here. Ada. Any question? Tak ada soalan ya? Tak ada, Doktor. Okay, if tak ada soalan, ada. belum lagi ya. Okay, so kalau tak ada soalan, so next kita akan pergi kepada asynchronous flip-flop IC. Okay, for the flip-flop IC, okay, before we go to asynchronous, okay, so kita ada 7474. Okay, so 7474D is a dual D flip-flop. Okay, so 7474 contain two identical D flip-flop that are independent of each other except sharing a VCC and ground. Okay, the flip-flop are positive edge trigger and have active low asynchronous preset and clear output. Okay, you see here, kat sini. Okay, kat sini and kat sini. So, this is your clear. Okay, so this is your D flip-flop. Okay, kamu ada dua D flip-flop dalam 7474. Okay, in which pin number one ni, this is your clear. Pin number two, this is your D input. Okay, untuk input flip-flop one. Yang ni, pin number tiga adalah kamu punya clock source. Okay, pin number 4, kamu punya preset. Pin number 5 is your Q. Okay, this is your Q and this is your Q bar. Okay, so I saya tulis kat sini lah. Okay, so this. Okay, meanwhile, untuk yang nombor 2 ni, okay, sama jugalah. Okay, oh. yang ni, this is your, kalau kita tengok ni, this is your clear. And this is your preset. And then this is your clock. Okay, follow by this is your D. Okay, input untuk D flip-flop nombor 2. This is your Q and this is your Q bar. Okay, so inside of this 7474, kamu ada dual D and C flip-flop. 
Okay, then we have the 7476. Okay, 7476 is an, another dual JK flip-flop. Okay, 7476 contains two identical JK flip-flops that are independent of each other except sharing VCC and ground. The flip-flop are negative edge triggered. Okay, untuk yang ni, this is a negative edge triggered. 7476 is a negative edge triggered. 7474 is a positive edge triggered. Kenapa positive edge? Kamu tengok kat dalam ni, simbol ni tak ada bubble dekat kamu punya clock source. But in this 7476, kamu tengok dia punya clock source ada bubble. Okay. And have active low asynchronous preset and clear output. Okay, kita tengok sini. Okay, according to this uh, pick up here, kat sini, this is your clock. Okay, and then this is your J. And this is your K. Untuk flip clock number one, dipanggil J1, K1. Then this is your clock one. And then this is your clear one. And this is your preset one. Q1 and Q1. Okay, sama jugalah dengan ini. This is your second punya JK flip-flop. Okay, kamu boleh tengoklah dia punya pin out dia pergi kat mana and then you you, you will uh, tahulah apakah dia punya input label kat sini. Okay, so next. Given an input waveform, I apply to one of the JK flip-flop in 7476. Okay, determine the IQ output waveform. Okay, contohlah. Saya lukis dalam. Uh, Okay, kita buat kat sini dulu. Later kita akan buat another contoh. Okay, let's see your J asynchronous JK flip-flop. Okay, J. Okay, by UJ, a 7476. Okay, so 7476, kamu tahu D is F. Okay, negative H trigger. Okay, so kamu ada preset and clear kat sini. And kamu ada Q and Q bar. Okay, so this is your clock input. Okay, this is your clock input and this is your JK input. Okay, pin 2 and pin 3, this is your JK input. And pin 4 and pin 15, this is your preset input. Okay, so this is your preset input and this is your clear input. Okay, now you're going to find out what is your Q. Okay, assume that the Q, okay, the initial value of your Q is starting dekat kosong kat sini. Okay, first thing first, what are we going to do? Apa yang kita kena buat? Okay, first thing first, kita fokus dekat preset dengan clear dahulu. Okay, we're going to focus on this side dahulu. Okay, preset and clear. Okay, so kat sini, kamu tengok sini. Okay, so you draw a straight line. Okay, for the each of the triggered, uh, edge triggered untuk Preset dengan clear. Okay. And then after that, kamu tengok sini. Kosong satu. Okay. What happen when you put zero one kat sini? So, automatic kamu punya sini akan jadi kosong. Okay. Because you force the flip-flop to clear. Okay. So, from here, starting from here to here, you're going to Clear. Okay, and then dekat sini. What about kat sini? Okay, so dekat sini pun kamu nak clear. Okay, kat sini. In between here to here. Okay, so kamu lukis lagi lah. Kosong lagi kat sini. Okay, because this is 1, 0. So 1, 0 means that you're going to clear. And then dekat sini, you see this is 0, 1. So in between here, you going to set. Okay, sampai situ. Okay, so that's why I, I ask you to do a straight line untuk preset dengan clear dahulu. Sebab kita nak tengok yang 
kita punya output because this one here this is the asynchronous punya flip flop okay so dia tak bergantung pada kamu ya yeah? jk input as well as your clock input just to okay so dekat sini kamu nak reset okay next what about the rest okay the rest kalau kamu tengok daripada sini okay daripada between here to here Okay, so this is one one. Okay, the value of preset and clear is one one. So now, what you going to do is, kamu tahu lah. Okay, so this one, this 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 the uh, region here, kamu nak buat synchronous flip flop. Sama juga dengan kat sini. Okay, so this is another synchronous flip flop, and this is another synchronous flip flop. Okay, so since this is a synchronous flip flop, so you you need to 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 see the JK flip flop as well as the clock input lah. Okay, dekat sini. Okay, since we we are using the 7476, okay, kita tahu 7476 is a negative edge trigger. So, every falling edge, kamu lukis straight line. Okay, you draw a straight line every falling edge. Okay, and then after that, what are you going to do? Okay, so this is the first falling edge. Okay, kalau kamu tengok ni, this is your first falling edge. Which is, the value of this falling edge here is 0, 1. Okay, J0, K1. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, okay, kita kena refer balik pada kita punya table lah. Okay, we way to refer our JK flip-flop punya table. Okay, zero, zero, no change, zero, one, reset, one, zero, set, and one, one, so okay, so good. Okay, so kat sini, okay, since, okay, kita started dari sini ya, since this is a kosong, okay, so from here to here, kamu kena follow previous value, sebab dia punya ni tak berubah lagi, okay, the, the, out, the output of the Q, only change every polling edge of your clock input. Okay, so from here, barulah dia akan berubah. Since this is a kosong satu, so what is kosong satu, kosong satu, kamu nak clear again. Okay, so dia akan jadi reset kat sini. Sampai next polling edge. Okay, so this is nombor dua. For the second polling edge, okay, kalau kamu tengok sini, dia punya JK input is one one. When one one, what happened? Bila satu satu, okay, satu satu bila JK satu satu kamu nak toggle. So that's why dia akan naik sampai jadi satu until next falling edge. Okay, which is this cycle nombor tiga. Dekat cycle nombor tiga JK kamu adalah satu kosong. What happened when satu kosong? Satu kosong kamu kena set. Okay, that's why dia akan jadi satu sampai next falling edge. Okay, next. Kat sini, kalau kamu tengok kat sini. Okay, so what happened here? This next folding edge, folding edge uh, dekat cycle nombor 4, uh, 4, dia punya input here, JK is 1, 0. Okay, supposedly 1, 1, 0 is set lagi sekali lah. Okay, but, okay, at the middle here, supposedly kamu kena buat 1 sampai sini. Okay, sampai next folding edge. Tapi kalau kamu tengok kat sini, kamu... Okay, force the flip-flop to do here, dekat this region. Okay, so that's why dia pergi ke bawah kat sini. Okay, sebab kamu clearkan dia. Okay, and then, so this clear akan sampai sini lah. But since dekat region this one here, okay, Next, you are going to do the apa ni synchronous flip flop. Okay, so since this one dia tak sampai lagi dia punya apa ni falling edge, so this clear here akan pergi sampai next falling edge. Okay, which is cycle nombor tiga barulah kita tengok balik semula pada kita punya JK flip flop. Which is it is a satu kosong, so satu kosong again kamu akan set ke dia, so that's why dia akan naik sampai lah next rising edge, eh, falling edge. Sorry. Okay, dekat sini kamu tengok input JK is 1-1. One, one. So, when 1-1 one, one, dia akan toggle. Okay, bila 1-1 satu, satu, 
you do a toggle and then dekat cycle 7 what happen here what is the input of your JK kosong satu since kosong satu kamu nak reset so supposedly it you need to reset sampai sini okay sampai next rising age and next falling age but at the middle here you force your flip flop okay to preset okay that's why dia akan naik kat sini tadi Okay, sampailah next poly age, which is sampai sini. Okay, and then barulah kita follow balik kita punya what we call here, uh, JK flip flop. Okay, so this is kosong satu. So kosong satu, you're going to reset again sampai next poly age. This is kosong kosong. What is kosong kosong? No change. Okay, so follow previous value. This is another kosong kosong. So follow lagi previous value sampai next poly age. And here is one zero. One zero, you're going to set. So this is the output of your Q based on the input waveform dekat sini. Hmm, doctor. Eh, ada soalan tak? Uh, ada, ada satu soalan. Okay. Kalau preset dengan clear zero zero, boleh? Hey, ada. Tak boleh. Tad tak boleh. Tadi kita dah tengok dah bila preset dengan clear zero zero at the same time not available. Alright. Tak tak boleh. Dia kena salah satu je. Okey. Betul. Yes, saya. Nanti kalau masa ada mm -hmm. yang pin 1 sampai pin 15 ni diberi ataupun kita kena buat sendiri. Dia akan beri. Dia akan beri kita cuma cari Q je lah. Ah, ah, kamu kamu kena cari Q saja. Pin 1 sampai pin 1, 2, 3, 4 dengan 15 ni dia punya input yang ni input waveform yang ni akan diberi. Okay. Okay, yang ni akan diberi kamu kena cari kamu punya output dia. Okay. Okay, next kita akan tengok pada exercise. Okay, kita dah habis dah kita punya modul yang ni. Okay, kita, which is uh, kamu dah belajar pasal deep flip flop. Eh, hey, kamu dah belajar pasal lash, flip flop and asynchronous flip flop. Now we are going to do some exercise. Okay, so this exercise I taken from previous punya final exam and previous test lah. Okay, so kita akan buat one by one. Okay, kamu nak take 5 minit break ataupun kita sambung? Kita sambung dulu ya. Eh? And then lepas habis ni baru kita berhenti sekejap. Sementara boleh? Boleh tak? Boleh, boleh. Boleh Boleh ya. Eh? Okay. Okay, so saya letakkan yang ni ke dalam white box. So senang kita nak lihat. Okay, based on this circuit 3.1, okay, 3.1, you are going to complete the timing diagram. Okay, so this is the timing diagram we bring. Okay, find the output A and B that are initially dekat kosong, kosong. Okay, so this is your circuit. Okay, so based on this timing diagram, so you're going to find out what is your output A dengan B. So, macam mana nak buat? Okay, first thing first, uh, what you going to do kat sini? Okay, kamu kena identify dululah apakah jenis circuit ni, simbol ni. Okay, untuk nombor satu. Okay, this nombor satu and this nombor dua. Okay, nombor satu ni, simbol apa ni nombor satu? Anyone? Uh, JK Latch. Okay, this one is JK Latch. Okay, kita kena identify dulu baru kita boleh jawab. Nombor dua, what is nombor dua? Okay. 
untuk okey nombor 2 ni JK jugaklah JK flip flop okey kenapa flip flop nampak ni ada simbol segitiga kat tengah-tengah tu means that this a clock input okey so JK flip flop since this is tak ada bubble dekat clock input so kamu tahu this is a positive h trigger Okay, so now barulah kita boleh dapatkan kita punya output A dengan B kat sini. Tapi before kita dapatkan output dulu, okay, kita kena dapatkan dia punya uh, true table lah untuk JK flip-flop dengan lash. Okay, so this is your JK Q. Okay, bila kosong-kosong, what is your output Q? Kosong-kosong? Q no lah change. kan? No change. Kosong satu. Reset. Okay, kosong satu you going to reset. Satu kosong set satu satu. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, so sekarang ni barulah kita lukis. Okay, dia bagi tahu kat sini. Output A and B are initially dekat kosong. Okay, so A and B initially start dekat kosong. Okay, so you're going to complete the timing diagram. Okay, so kalau kamu, kamu tengok kat sini. Okay, so this one yang this is enable. Okay, so kita letak kat sini. Okay, yang ni lash. Yang ni flip lock. B is your flip flop. Okay, so we're going to do a lash dahulu. Okay, untuk lash, dia punya output akan bergantung pada enable kat sini. Okay, since this is a active high enable, so kita akan fokus pada bila kamu punya CON, okay, this is your CON. Okay, input. Okay, so your output JK ni hanya akan berubah bila Enable kamu beli bagi satu dekat kamu punya enable. Okay. If you put uh, value lain, uh, bila, bila kamu bagi kosong, dia punya value tak berubah. Okay. So, this is a gated eh. Kita panggil dia sebagai gated JK lash. Okay. So, kita buat dulu untuk yang lash ni. Okay. So, saya draw straight line untuk setiap CON ni. Okay, kita punya con, apa ni, kita punya enable input. Okay, draw straight line yang ni, yang ni pun sama yang ni yang ini ini this one, this one Okay, so daripada sini, okay, since this initial kat kosong, sini ke sini apa apa berlaku kepada output kamu? Sebab sini enable kamu kosong. Are you going to see the JK input kat sini? Perlu ke kita tengok JK input? Tak. Tak perlu. Okay, so dia punya tak. output tak berubah sampai kat sini, which is Okay, so sekarang ni kamu punya enable dah satu. So, what happen when enable dah satu? Apa berlaku? Bila enable oh. kat sini jadi satu. Okay, kita, bila enable satu, okay, kita kena tengok kita punya JK input. Okay, sebab this is the lash. Okay, so kamu kena tengok lah setiap H trigger kat sini. Okay, so saya lukis lagi sampai situ. Okay, why, why? Sini satu, satu. Bila satu, satu, apa berlaku when satu, satu? Dia akan toggle. Toggle. Okay, so dia akan jadi toggle. satu. Tak tebal. Ya. Okay, so dia akan jadi 
Satu. Okay, and then kat sini kosong satu. Why point when kosong satu? Remain. Saya sulit. Kosong. Reset. Reset. Dia akan jadi kosong. And then kat sini, kalau kamu tengok kat sini, kosong, kosong. Remain. Okay, remain. No change. Sampailah dekat sini. Okay, sampai habis kamu punya satu ni tadi. Okay. And then after that, dia punya input enable is kosong. So what happened when kosong, kita no change lah, tak berubah. Follow previous Q. Okay. And then sekarang kat sini, okay, enable sama dengan satu. So what happened when enable sama dengan satu, kamu kena tengok lah kamu punya JK input ni. Input JK. Okay, so kita lukis lagi lah. Sekejap eh, kita lukis lagi dia punya straight line kat sini. So, this is another straight line. Okay, so sekarang ni this is satu-satu. Satu-satu, apa berlaku will satu-satu? Toggle. Okay, toggle. So, daripada sini ke sini toggle. Kosong satu. Reset. Okay, kosong satu kamu nak reset. Okay, so dia akan jadi set. Sampailah sini. And then you have a one-one again. So you toggle lagi sekali. Dekat situ. Okay, and then this one here, this is a kosong. So dia akan follow previous value. Okay, and then this one, bila kamu bagi satu dekat kamu punya enable, so kamu kena tengoklah kamu punya JK sekali lagi. Okay, input JK. So draw lagi straight line untuk kamu punya JK input ni. Okay, satu kosong, satu kosong, kamu nak setkan dia. Kosong, kosong, apa berlaku kosong, kosong? No change, kosong satu, dia akan reset. Okay, so reset, since this one here is kosong, so kamu akan follow previous value. Okay, yang uh, gated JK latch ni leceh sikit lah. Okay, sebab setiap kali kamu jumpa satu and then kamu kena draw straight. Draw line for each of the JK input kat sini. Okay, so this one nasib baik and this sekali je. Okay, so since this is kosong, 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 kosong apa berlaku pada kamu punya output? Tak berubah. Satu, satu. Toggle. Okay, and then this is kosong. So no change. And then since enable satu, kena lihat balik pada kamu punya JK input. So this is your JK input. Okay, so sekarang ni, satu-satu, what happened when satu-satu, kamu akan jadi toggle, kosong satu, so kosong satu kamu nak reset. Okay, and then since this is a kosong, so daripada sini, no change. And when enable kamu satu, then kamu kena tengok pada kamu punya JK. Okay, so this is one-one. So one-one apa yang berlaku kepada one-one? Toggle satu. Toggle and kosong satu. Itu. Okay, akan jadi zero. You're going to reset. Okay, so this is the output of lash. Okay, next we are going to see the output of this B untuk kamu punya JK flip flop. Okay, since this one here, this is a positive edge trigger. So the output of the JK flip flop will only change every rising edge. Okay, dia hanya akan berubah setiap kali rising edge. Okay, so kamu lukis lah. Identify dulu rising edge dekat mana. And then you draw the straight line. Okay, so this is the straight line of every rising edge. Okay, so kita start lah. Kosong. Okay, initial value is kosong. So from here to here is kosong lah. Because tak berubah kat sini. Okay, since this is a, the first rising edge. So what happened? Kita kena tengok pada kita punya JK input. Okay, since JK input is 1, 1, 1. So what happened bila 1, 1? Dia akan toggle. So dia akan jadi 1 sampai next rising edge. Okay, untuk rising edge nombor 2, kita tengok pula kita punya JK input. JK input still 1, 1. So dia akan toggle. 
sampai next rising age. Oh, okay, untuk next rising age kamu tengok this uh, the third rising age, the third cycle. Satu kosong. Okay, so what, what happened when satu kosong? Oh. Dia akan jadi satu. Satu. Okay, sampai next rising age. Okay, dekat sini, cycle nombor empat, kalau kamu tengok ni, dia punya input dekat sini is kosong-kosong. So, what happened when kosong-kosong? Tak berubah. Sampai next rising age. Rising age nombor lima, okay, you see the input here is one one so bila one one is toggle lah sampai next rising age rising age nombor 6 what happen kamu tengok lagi kamu punya input kat jk which is one one so dia akan toggle until next rising age so this is the output of your lash and flip flop okey ada soalan Tak ada ke? Okay, so next kita ada another exercise. So yang ni saya nak nak suruh kamu buat dulu. And then after that kita bincang. Boleh tak? Saya bagi 10 minit untuk kamu selesaikan yang ni. Okay, okay. so this is asynchronous. Kenapa asynchronous? Sebab kamu ada preset dengan clear. Okay, saya bagi 10 minit. And then lepas tu kita bincang jawapan ni. Okay, given the input waveform, okay, kamu dah diberi input waveform seperti ini, and then sketch the output waveform of Q of the circuit in figure 51. Okay, so this is the figure of the circuit, and this is your waveform. So now you're going to find out what is your output Q. Okay, so macam mana nak buat ini? So first, you first kena identify dulu lah. Okay, what kind, uh, what type of flip flop that we are going to use? Okay, since this one here, you see other preset and clear, so you know that this is a asynchronous JK flip flop. Okay, so once you identify, so apa kamu kena buat? Dapatkan dia punya true table dahulu. Okay, so JK and Q kosong kosong, no change kosong satu, which is reset satu kosong set and satu satu. Okay. okay, so you have a clock input, J input, K input, clear and preset. Okay, now we are going to focus dekat sini dulu lah. Okay, dekat kita punya preset and clear. Okay, so we need to draw a straight line lah kat sini. Untuk preset and clear. Okay, saya so zoom out sini. Okay, so this and it is your preset. Okay, so now we are going to draw the 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 ni dulu lah. Kita kena lukiskan dulu kita punya output untuk preset dengan clear. Okay, so we draw dulu. So since this is a kosong satu, so you know that you are going to clear dekat sini. So kamu Lukis dulu dahulu, kosong kat sini. And since the kat sini is one zero, so you know that you are going to. Okay, you are going to set. Okay, kita akan lukis. Okay, so kita lukis dekat sini dengan sini dulu. And then after that, barulah kita buat yang lain. Okay, untuk yang tempat lain, kamu tengok untuk tempat lain, the value of clear and preset always 1, 1. So, what happen when value always 1, 1? So, you need to to look dekat kamu punya uh, JK flip-flop lah. Okay, dia punya input. Okay, 0, 0, Q, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, bar. Okay, so before kita lukis dahulu, okay, kita kena identify lah which uh, Okay, untuk yang ni kita pakai negative edge trigger JK flip flop. Okay, you see kamu ada bubble kat depan ni. So, you know that this is a negative edge trigger JK flip flop. So, yang kamu punya flip flop ni akan berubah every polling 
age. Okay, so every flow lead age calling it the asset changes. Okay, the output will berubah. Okay, so sekarang ni kita nak lukis. Initial value is kosong lah. Okay, so since this is kosong sampai next calling age. So this is your calling age lah. Calling age yang saya buat dengan biru ni. Okay, this is your calling age. Okay, so daripada sini, okay, so since this is initial value is kosong, so from here to next folly age, kamu lukis kosong lah. Okay. Okay, so saya pada sini, ke sini kosong. And then, dekat sini, so you need to see. Okay, so since this is JK is 1-1, so what happen bila JK satu-satu? Toggle. Okay, dia akan toggle. Sepatutnya dia akan toggle sampai next next folly age which is sampai sini okay this is your next folly age supposedly toggle sampai there tapi in the middle kat sini nampak ni kat sini okay you suddenly force the flip flop untuk clear okay so that's why kita lukis sampai kat sini je okay aduh ke okay so kita akan lukis toggle sampai Sini saja. Okay, because at the middle ni kamu nak force this uh, clear. So, from here to here kamu akan clear kan dia sampai next poly edge. Okay, lepas tu dekat sini. Why pun dekat sini? Dekat sini is kosong satu. So, what is kosong satu? Reset. Okay, kosong satu reset sampai next poly edge. Supposedly dia nak Reset sampai sini. But in the middle kat sini, you see here, kamu preset pula dia. Okay, kamu preset your flip-flop. Pause dia supaya preset. Okay, so what happened kat sini? Kita kena lukis daripada sini sampai sini je lah. Preset and then next kita kena Okay, tinggi lah sikit. Okay, so sini. Okay, so this one kita kena letak satu sampai next poly edge. Okay, you suddenly you preset dekat sini. Okay, then next kat sini kita tengok balik. This is kosong-kosong. So, what happened when kosong-kosong? Apa kamu akan jadi? Follow previous input. Uh, follow previous output. Okay. So, aku. Dia kena ada kosong. Tak apalah. Okay, okay, and then dekat sini. Satu kosong. So, what happened when satu kosong? Satu kosong is one lah. Okay, when satu kosong is. Dia akan jadikan. Satu sampailah next. Poly edge and this next poly edge. Kamu tengok dia is one. One. So, what happened? Kamu akan. So, dekat dia. So, this is your output of your Q. Okay, based on this waveform. Okay, ada soalan tak? Any question? Tak ada, Doktor. Okay, if tak ada soalan, next kita akan tengok another uh, apa ni, another exercise. Ah, yang ni. Okay, so you are going to sketch the output waveform of Q0, Q1 and Q2 for the circuit shown in figure 1, 3. Okay, so you give a figure 1, 3 kat sini. And then need to find out what is your Q0, Q1 and Q2. Okay, so all the output are initially uh, set at kosong. Okay, they reset. All the output is initially reset. So, any idea macam mana nak buat this one? Okay. 
Okay, sama jugalah. Kamu kena identify. Okay. What type of circuit that you are using? Okay, so based on this circuit here, apa yang kita pakai? D flip flop. Okay, kita pakai D flip flop. Okay, so this is a D flip flop. This is another D flip flop, and this is another D flip flop. So this is a D flip flop. Okay, so you need to find out what is the true table of your D. Okay, bila kosong, what happen your to your Q? Kosong lah. Bila D1, output Q akan jadi? Satu. Satu. Okay, kena, kena ingat ni. You need to remember lah. Okay, kamu punya true table. Okay, next. Okay, yang jadi masalahnya sekarang yang ni. Okay, so gate apa yang ni? What is the type of gate here? X or. Exclusive. Exclusive. Oh, okay, exclusive no. 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 Okay, X no. Okay, so saya letak lah sini. D is your Q2 and D is your Q1. Okay, A, B, F. Okay, exclusive no. Apakah dia punya true table? Siapa nak bantu? Okay, macam mana nak dapatkan true table untuk exclusive no? Okay, kalau S O, dia punya persamaan dia apa? F sama dengan A B bar plus A bar B. Betul tak? Okay, for exclusive no, dia punya persamaan is F sama dengan A B tambah A bar B bar. Okay, so from this persamaan kamu boleh dapatkan kamu punya apa ni kita kita namakan kamu punya true table. Okay, so the output here will be one zero zero one. Okay, so sekarang ni kamu identify this is a positive H trigger, so the output of Q hanya berubah setiap rising. H. Okay, so every rising H, you draw a straight line. Yep, rising H. Okay, so this is the initial value. So, daripada sini sampai sini, dia akan jadi kosong. Kosong and kosong. So, macam mana nak buat ni? Anyone? Okay, so this is the output lah. Kosong, kosong, kosong. Okay, if you see here, this is kosong, kosong. Masuk ke sini, apa akan berlaku? Bila kosong, masuk ke Q1, kosong, Q2, kosong. What is the output of your exclusive all kat sini? Satu. Okay, dia akan jadi satu. So, when this one is one, dia akan pergi ke sini, betul tak? Ya. Yeah. Okay, so since okay, so this is your so bila next rise the H, what happen to your ni? Uh, output D kosong. Is it masih lagi kosong atau pernah berubah jadi satu? Satu. Okay, dia dah jadi satu. Okay, dia dah naik sampai sini jadi satu. Q satu. Apakah output Q1 kat sini? Masih kosong ke ataupun dah jadi satu? Satu. Okey, untuk Q1, since kalau, kalau kamu tengok kat sini, Q1 
bergantung pada Q0 betul tak dia punya input dia datang daripada Q0 is it betul tak Q2 dia punya input dia datang daripada Q1 based on this apa ni circuit lah ok so Q1 dia tak jadi satu lagi kenapa tak jadi satu sebab dia baru dekat sini dia baru nak berubah daripada kosong kepada satu so the output remain zero ok sebab kat sini kita ambil previous punya ok kalau kamu tengok pada circuit ni ok input Q1 datang daripada Q0 ok so this is the input input Q1 adalah datang daripada Q0 manakala input Q2 ok which is your D2 datangnya daripada Q1 ok so yang ni pun masih lagi kosong sebab sini sini kosong so dia is masih lagi kosong lah ok untuk yang ni je kat sini je ok since dekat sini kalau kamu tengok untuk yang Q1 ni tak dapatkan output Q1 you tengok kat sini the output of Q0 baru nak naik daripada kosong kepada satu ok dia tak berubah lagi jadi satu baru nak naik kepada kosong so kita akan ambil kat sini kosong so that's why dia jadi Okay, then you put lah lagi. Kosong, kosong. Bila kosong, kosong, what happen here? Dia akan jadi satu, betul tak? Based on this two table. Bila Q1 kosong, Q2 kosong, output eh akan jadi satu. So, this satu here akan masuk ke D kosong. Okay, so next uh, rising edge, dia akan jadi satu lagi dekat situ. Okay, now, what happen to your Q1? Naik jadi satu. Okay, Q1 dah naik jadi satu. Okay, sebab kat sini Q0 kamu dah satu. So, since Q0 dah satu, so dia akan naik jadi satu. So, output kat sini dah automatic jadi satu. Okay, so what happen to your Q2? Satu ke kosong? Dia masih lagi tengok yang bawah ni sebab dia baru berubah kan daripada Q1 daripada kosong kepada satu dia baru nak berubah so kita masih ambil kosong. Okay so another input here is satu kosong. So bila satu kosong, why put main kat satu kosong? F akan jadi kosong. Bila F kosong dia akan masuk ke sini. Okay jadi D kosong, D kosong akan hantar ke Q0 so why put here? Apa yang berlaku? So Q0 sekarang ni dah jadi kosong. What happen to your Q1? Masih satu. Okay, masih satu. Kita ambil yang ke atas ni. Sebab dia tak berubah lagi jadi kosong. Dia baru nak berubah. So masih lagi satu. Q2 akan jadi, jadi satu. satu. Okay. So since D is a satu-satu. So what happen when satu-satu? So yang ni dah bukan kosong lagi lah. Dia dah jadi satu. Satu, satu. Apakah output dekat sini? Satu. Betul tak? So satu akan masuk ke jadi D not. Dan keluar jadi Q not. So dia akan jadi satu kat sini. Sorry. Sekejap ya, saya kena cari semula saya punya whiteboard tadi dah terhilang dah. Okay, so mana tadi? Okay, kita kat sini. Okay, so yang ni dah jadi satu. And then what happened to your Q1? Masih lagi satu ataupun kosong? So dia akan jadi kosong lah. Okay, so Q1 akan jadi kosong. What about Q2? Q2 masih lagi satu. Okay, sebab yang ni. Dia tengok kat sini. 
Okay, so since this is kosong satu, so yang ni kosong, yang ni satu Y pun tu your eksklusif no. So bila kosong satu, dia akan jadi kosong. Kosong masuk sini, yang ni akan jadi kosong. Okay, and then Y pun tu your Q1. Q1 sekarang ni akan jadi satu. Q2 tengok kat sini akan jadi kosong. So this is the output of Q0, Q1 dengan Q2 based on this figure 3. Okay, 1, 3 kat sini. Okay, yang menjadikan dia susah adalah disebabkan oleh eksklusif no yang ni kat sini. Eh. Okay, any question? Ada soalan tak? Okay, because we dah finish our module, module berapa ni? Module 6. Okay, now we're going to to start with module 7. Ada soalan tak kat sini? Tak ada, Doktor. Okay, if no question, then we uh, start with module. Okay, so in this module so 7, okay, untuk module 7, kamu akan belajar mengenai counter. Okay, there are two type of counter. Okay, the first one we call it as asynchronous counter. The second one we call it as a synchronous counter. Okay, so counter. So counter is a group of flip-flop that are connected together to perform counting operation. So counter ni adalah digunakan untuk kamu buat counting operation actually. Okay, so this counter here is performed by using a flip-flops. Okay, nak buat counter, kita kena pakai flip-flop. Okay, the number of flip-flop used and the way which they are connected will determine the number of state. Okay, ada berapa banyak state yang kamu nak counting and the specific sequence of the state the counter goes through during each complete cycle. Okay, so sama ada nak counting up ataupun counting down. Okay, so the, the number of flip-flop and the way you do the connection akan determine bi berapa bilangan counting sequence yang kamu nak buat and sama ada kamu nak buat counting up ataupun counting down. So this is an uh, example of 3-bit binary counter. Okay, if you can see here, you have Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, so Q0, Q1, Q2, this is the output of your counter and this is your clear function and this is your uh, apa ni, clock input. Okay, for 3-bit counter, okay, we are using the 3 flip-flops. Okay, sebab kamu tengok sini kamu ada 3 output Q0, 1 dengan 2. Okay, so this is what happen lah kalau kita guna uh, uh, programming. Okay, which is if you clear kat sini, the output of Q2, Q1, Q0 akan jadi kosong-kosong. If clear sama dengan satu, so this one here akan counting. Okay, keep increasing by one every polish age. Okay, sebab tu kalau kamu kata tengok asyik, if clock equal to falling age, Q2, Q1, Q0 sama dengan Q2, Q1, Q0 tambah dengan 0, 0, So the counter will keep uh, counting, okay, from 0, 0. Okay, and then it will go to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then followed by 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And then 1, 1, 1. After that, we are start balik dengan kosong. So, this is a 3-bit binary counter, which is kalau kamu tukarkan ni dalam bentuk decimal, dia akan count daripada nombor kosong hingga 7. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, kita tertinggal satu ni. Satu, satu, kosong. And then, satu, satu, satu. Baru dia pergi ke sini. Okay. So, dia akan count daripada kosong hingga tujuh. And it will count back. And it will keep repeating. Okay. So, this is the output waveform lah. For Q2, Q1 and Q0. So, macam yang saya bagi tahu tadi. Okay. So, every foliage, dia akan 
increase by y. Okay, you see this, this is Poisson, 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 and then followed by Poisson, Poisson, Satu, Poisson, Satu, Poisson, Poisson, Satu, 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 Poisson, Poisson, Satu, Satu, Poisson, sorry, Satu, Poisson, Satu, yang kasihnya, Satu, Satu, Poisson, and Satu, Satu, Satu. Okay, kalau kamu tukar dia dalam bentuk decimal, kamu akan dapat kosong, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. Okay, so this is the sequence and this is your state. Okay, and this is the state diagram lah. Dia nak count daripada nombor berapa ke nombor berapa. So sequence ni, according to this one ni, you going to count up from kosong to Seven, ataupun kosong, 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 two, one, 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 and goes back to kosong, kosong, kosong. Okay, so this is how the counter works. Okay, counter per fungsi. So counter are classified into two broad categories according to the way they are clock. Okay, so counter ni boleh kita classify dia so, kepada dua bahagian. Okay, the first one is asynchronous counter. Okay, so asynchronous counter known as a ripple counter, which is the first flip-flop is clocked by external clock and each of the successive flip-flop is clocked by the output of the preceding flip-flop. Okay, so this one is asynchronous counter. Kenapa asynchronous counter? Hanya ada satu sahaja flip-flop. Dia punya clock input coming from your external clock ataupun datang dan daripada clock input while the rest of the counter okay the rest of the flip flop the clock input coming from the output of the previous flip flop okay so that's why we call it as a asynchronous counter sebabnya satu saja clock data dia punya clock input coming from your clock source the rest coming from the previous flip flop input output sorry while the synchronous counter the clock input is connected to all the flip-flop so they are clocked simultaneously. Okay, you see, can see here, all the clock here are connected to the same clock source. Okay, so this one we call it as a synchronous counter. So in both categories, okay, either you use an asynchronous or a synchronous, okay, it can be differentiated by the following criteria. Okay, watch which is a clock trigger, sama ada dia positive edge trigger or negative edge trigger. Okay, to count, sama ada to count a binary number ataupun to count a decade number. And the count direction, sama ada kamu nak count up, count down ataupun count up and down at the same time. Okay, so the use of counter, so this is the use of counter. First, you're going to count the number of the time that certain event take place, contohnya parking space lah. Okay, kita nak use this counter here to count how many uh, vehicle enter to your parking. Okay, so bergantung pada tu dia akan, so this one here kena use a up and down lah because kalau ada kereta masuk, so the counting akan uh, increase. If the uh, kereta keluar daripada that parking lot, the counting will decrease. And then to control a fixed sequence of action in digital system such as gate A must be open before gate B. Okay, so this is another counter lah. Okay, to generate a timing signal, okay, which is you're going to do a timer. Okay, so this one always use untuk counting down lah. Ataupun kamu nak buat timer untuk counting up pun pun boleh. So this is the application of counter. Kenapa kita nak guna counter. Okay, so let's look at the asynchronous counter dahulu. And then after that, we go to the synchronous counter. For the asynchronous counter, is one which the flip-flop within the counter do not change state at exactly the same time because they do not have a common clock pass. Okay, since the asynchronous counter, only the first flip-flop, the, the clock input coming from the clock source, so their punya output here tak akan berubah pada waktu yang sama. Okay. So the clock input is always connected only at the low significant bit of your flip-flop. 
Okay, so only the first flip-flop, the clock input can be the clock source. The clock for the next flip-flop come from output of the previous flip-flop, okay? While the second, third, or fourth flip-flop here, the clock source is coming from the previous flip-flop. So this one here, known as a ripple counter. Okay, so this is the overview lah. Macam mana how the, this asynchronous counter works. Okay, so the external clock is connected to the clock input of the first flip-flop. Okay, so the, this first flip-flop connected to your clock source. So flip-flop zero change state at the positive edge. Kenapa positive edge? Because you see here, this is a positive edge triggered. Okay, but flip-flop one, okay, change only when triggered by the positive edge trigger of your Q output of flip-flop zero. Okay. Untuk yang ni, flip-flop zero, the Q zero here akan berubah bila mana your clock input here is positive edge. But for the flip-flop number satu, the output of Q1 hanya berubah according to your positive edge trigger of your Q0 output. Okay, so because of the inherent propagation delay through a flip-flop, the transition of the input clock pass and transition of the Q of output F0 can never occur at the same time. Okay, therefore, the flip-flop cannot be triggered simultaneously producing a asynchronous operation. Okay, sebabnya kamu tak share the same clock pass, so Q0 and Q1, dia punya output dia akan ada sedikit delay. Okay, cannot trigger at the same Okay, so let's look how to do a uh, to uh, to do a two bit asynchronous binary counter. Okay, so this is a two bit asynchronous binary counter. Kenapa kita pakai two bit? Sebab kamu guna dua flip flop. Okay, kalau kamu guna tiga flip flop, kita panggil dia sebagai three bit asynchronous binary counter. Kenapa asynchronous? Because only the first flip flop here is connected to your clock source, while the rest Coming from previous output. Okay, so now we're going to see how this two B asynchronous binary counter works. Okay, so it's a location by the Nila. Okay, so first I am the load the Pujani. Okay, so this is your two-bit asynchronous counter, which is you uh, you uh, develop it by using JK flip flop. Okay, now we are going to find out what is the output for Q zero dengan Q one. Okay, so let's this is your clock input. And this is output Q0. Okay, let's Q0 initialize at value kosong. Okay, so since this is a positive edge trigger, so dia punya Q ni hanya akan berubah every rising edge. Okay, so I draw straight line kat sini. Okay, so Kamu lah kamu tengok sini. Okay, kita pakai JK flip flop. Okay, if you can see here, this JK here always connected to high. Means that the JK value. Okay, so this is your JK flip flop. Through table. Kosong 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 satu satu kosong satu satu kosong satu kosong satu and this cube. Okay, if you can see here. JK untuk buat counter, our JK here must always one one. Okay, why one one? Because we going to have the 
toggle untuk buat counter kita kena pakai this toggle here okay to make sure that our q always toggle okay since the input of jk always high so what happen here from here to here kosong and then since this one is rising edge so jk always one one so the output kat sini akan jadi satu and then kat sini akan jadi kosong satu kosong and satu okay so this is untuk q0 lah this is the output untuk q0 what about output for q1 macam mana nak dapat output of q1 okay so since output of q1 okay the clock source is coming from q0 bar okay so kamu kena dapatkan dulu kamu punya q0 bar kat sini okay lukis dahulu kamu punya q0 bar okay so this is one kosong satu kosong satu kosong okay and then since here okay this is your q0 bar okay kalau kamu tengok kat sini clock source here is coming from q0 bar which is this one here is positive another positive edge trigger so dekat q0 bar ni kamu identify the positive edge trigger which is every rising edge okay so kamu dah identify so this is the rising edge so what happen now you are going to to find out what is your q1 output so since okay kita initialize our q1 at kosong so this is from here to here is kosong lah okay since flip flop yang ni pun kalau kamu tengok jk connected to high means that the jk always one one so what happen every rising edge dia akan berubah jadi toggle okay so now we're going to find out the sequence okay of the output q0 and q1 okay what are the sequence here okay this is kosong kosong which is kalau kosong kosong tukar dalam uh, hexa uh, dalam decimal kamu akan dapat kosong this is satu kosong which is kosong satu this is lsb eh yani lsb kenapa lsb because the clock source here coming from your clock uh, this clock input here coming from your clock source so this q0 kita panggil dia sebagai lsb okay so this kosong kosong this is kosong satu bila kosong satu this is one and then this is one, zero one okay so one zero which is two and this is one one three and then kosong kosong again Okay, so now what happen here, kalau kamu tengok ni, dia akan count from 0 to 3 and goes back to 0. Because dia a 2-bit counter. Okay, so 2-bit counter kamu tahu dia akan uh, count daripada kosong, 1, 2, 3 and then go back to kosong. Okay, which is kosong, 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 1, 1, kosong and 1, 1. Okay, so this is what happened lah. Okay, this is the penerangan, what happened. And this is the timing diagram of the previous 2-bit asynchronous binary counter. Okay, and this, this is the clock pass. Okay, and this is the output lah. Macam yang saya lukis tadi, kita akan dapat 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, counter okay now we're going to see the three bit asynchronous binary counter okay if the, you're going to make a three bit asynchronous binary counter so what happened here kamu tambah just satu lagi flip flop kat belakang ni okay jk sambung kepada high and this one here sambung kepada kamu punya previous output okay so the circuit connection is the same as two bit asynchronous counter for a three bit counter just add another flip-flop. Okay, now we're going to see what are the, what we call here, 
the output okay from this flip flop here apakah dia punya counting sequence okay we can derive the counting sequence based on this circuit here okay so say okay this is our jk Okay, so kita lukis dulu kita punya clock source. So, this is our clock source. Okay, so now we are going to find out what is your Q out 0, Q1 and Q2. Okay, kita dapatkan yang Q0 dulu. Kenapa nak dapatkan yang Q0? Because the Q0, okay, the output change according to your clock source kat sini. Okay, kita dapatkan Q0 dulu. Output of Q0. Okay, since it is a positive edge trigger, so every rising edge, kamu draw the straight line lah. Okay, so initial value of Q0 is kosong lah. Kita letak kosong. So from here is 0. And then it will toggle. Jadi 1. Kenapa toggle? Because JK always high. Okay, you see here. JK sama dengan 1, 1. Okay, so this is the output of your Q0. Okay, now we're going to find out what is the output for Q1. Okay, macam mana nak dapatkan output of Q1? So, kita kena dapatkan dulu kita punya clock input of untuk flip-flop yang ni. Okay, so this clock input of this flip-flop is coming from Q0 bar. Okay, so this, since this is your Q0, so kamu dapatkan Q0 bar dulu. So, Q0 bar yang ni akan jadi 1, kosong. Okay, so sama juga lah. Positive edge trigger. So every rising edge, kamu punya Q1 akan berubah. Okay, so draw a straight line kat sini. Okay, Q1 started from all Q1 pun sama juga. Okay, initial value is zero. So from here to next rising edge, kosong. And then after that, Sampai next rising edge, dia akan toggle. Okay, and then kosong, toggle. Toggle and toggle. Okay, so we finish at Q1 and Q0. And then now we're going to find out what is our Q2. Okay, untuk Q2, okay, we need to figure out lah. This Q2 here, the clock sort is coming from Q1 bar. Okay, so dapatkan dulu yang aku punya Q1 bar. Okay, so this is your Q1 bar. Okay, since this one also positive edge triggered, so every rising edge, dia akan berubah. Okay, so lukislah dapatkan kamu punya Q2. Okay, so Q2 also dia akan started dengan initial value is kosong. So from here to here is kosong. And then jadi satu. And then jadi Okay, next. Apa kita nak buat? Okay, next kita nak dapatkan dia punya ni lah. Sequence. Okay, so this is kosong. Kalau kamu tengok sini kosong, kosong, kosong. So this is kosong lah. And then you have kosong, kosong, satu. Which is, this is a satu. And then you have kosong, satu, kosong. This is dua. Kosong, satu, satu, ini tiga. Satu, kosong, kosong, empat. Satu, 
and then 1117 and then it goes back to kosong 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 which is kosong okay so for the three bit asynchronous counter so they are times count from kosong ke tujuh and then go back to kosong ataupun kosong 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 ke 111 and then recycle back to kosong 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 and this is another counting up kenapa counting up sebab kamu tengok dia punya sequence kosong 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so this is the timing diagram of for three big asynchronous binary counter okay and then the county change at every positive edge of the clocks and then the county sequence is kosong 1 2 3 4 5 6 Tujuh and recycle back to kosong. Okay, so this is the binary state sequence. Okay, initial is kosong kosong kosong. Sampai lah. Cycle ke tujuh is one 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 and cycle ke lapan it recycle back to kosong kosong kosong. Okay, what about if you're going to make a four bit asynchronous binary counter? Sama juga for the four bits. Okay, four bits kamu tambah lagi satu flip flop cats belakang ni okay so in this example the counter using a negative edge jk flip flop okay kamu tengok ni this is a negative edge jk flip flop for the negative edge jk flip flop to counting up kita kena sambung kepada q not okay the clock must connected to q not okay kalau kamu guna Positive H trigger, okay, the Q not untuk counting up, the clock must connected to your Q bar. Okay. So, this is the, what we call here. Okay, so kita lukis dulu lah. Okay, betul ke tak dia punya sequence ni? Okay. Betul tak? This one also buat counting up. Kita lukis dulu. Kita derive dulu. Betul tak? Circuit yang ni buat counting up. Okay, I put it down here. Clock. Panjang ni kita punya clock ni. Okay, so now we're going to find out what is our Q0. Okay, since it is a Q0 output, okay, the influx, uh, the output of Q0 change, okay, change every falling edge of your clock input here. So, come on, look at this here. Okay, identify the is of falling edge of the clock input. So, every falling edge, your Q akan berubah. Okay, Q, we start dekat kosong lah eh. Kita start with kosong. The Q0. Okay, so kosong. Sampai sini kosong. And then after that, it become one. Kosong. Satu. Okay, this is untuk Q0. Okay, next we're going to find out what is a Q1. Okay, so this Q1, the clock source is coming from Q0. 
Q0. So no need to find, find out your Q not bar lah. Okay, because the clock saw is coming from Q0. So kamu, since this one also is negative edge triggered, so from this Q0, kamu identify the negative edge triggered, which is a falling edge. And then you draw a straight line kat sini. And then kamu boleh dapatkan your punya Q1. Okay, so Q1 starting from 0 as well, sampai sini, may become 1. Kosong. Satu. Kosong. Satu. Okay. Satu. Okay, so this is for the Q1. And then you need to find out what is your Q2. Q2 pun sama juga. Okay, and then this Q2 is, the clock is coming from Q1. Okay, so this is your Q1. So, dapatkan dia punya falling edge of your Q1. And then you draw your, your output of your Q2 lah. Okay, so from here, initial daripada kosong, so dia akan jadi kosong, and then become one, and jadi kosong, and this is one. And last but not least, your Q3. Okay, so lukiskan untuk yang punya Q3. So Q3, the clock input is coming from Q2. Since this is a negative edge trigger, so every poly edge dia akan berubah. Okay, so from here, Kosong, and then satu. Okay, next, what we're going to do? Kita kena cari dia punya sequence. Okay, so this one is kosong, 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 which is kosong. And then kosong, 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 satu, satu, kosong, kosong, satu, kosong, dua, kosong, kosong, satu, satu, which is tiga, kosong, satu, kosong, kosong, empat, kosong, satu, kosong, satu, lima, Kosong satu satu kosong, which is this enam kosong satu 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 tujuh, and then followed by satu kosong 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 lapan satu kosong kosong satu sembilan satu kosong satu kosong, which is sepuluh satu kosong satu satu sebelas, and then if we have satu satu kosong. Kosong dua belas satu satu kosong satu tiga belas satu 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 kosong empat belas dan satu 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 lima belas. Okay, kalau kamu lukis lagi satu tambah lagi satu kali kat sini, okay, kamu akan dapat. Kamu akan dapat kosong, 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 kosong. Sisi akan jadi kosong. So, dia, dia akan count daripada kosong hingga 15. And then, recycle back to kosong. Okay, kalau kamu tukar dalam binary, kosong, 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 kosong. Which is a 4 bit sampailah 1, 1, 1, 1. And then, go back to kosong, kosong, kosong. Okay, so this 4 bit asynchronous. Banyak the counter. Okay, even though kita nampak ni, even though kita pakai negative edge trigger, tapi kita punya connection is con correct, it will counting up. Okay, to summarize. Okay, so in this example, the counter using negative edge trigger, but it still count up because the clock is connected to Q. Okay, so to summarize, okay, to count up, by using a positive edge trigger, okay, the clock source must connected to your Q bar of the previous output. If the clock source you connected to your Q from the previous output, so you come I can what count down. Okay, this is for the positive edge trigger lah. Untuk negative edge trigger, untuk count up. Okay, untuk buat counting up. So, this clock source must connected to your Q0. Okay, Q saja. If you're going to do the countdown, this clock source must connected to your Q bar. Okay, so you need to remember this table here. To do the count up ataupun count down according to positive edge trigger or negative edge trigger. 
Okay, so basically the circuit connection for asynchronous counter is almost the same where the external clock connected to the LSB of the flip-flop. Okay, hanya ada satu saja flip-flop yang sambung kepada external clock, which is your LSB, your least significant bit flip-flop. Clock for each of the flip-flop come from the previous flip-flop except for the first flip-flop. Okay, so every flip-flop operate in toggle mode. Okay, so flip-flop ni kena operate in toggle mode. That's why if you see here, this JK here must be connected to high because we going, we need to make sure that to do accounting, the flip-flop must be operate in toggle mode. Okay, so to operate in a toggle mode, if you're going to use uh, another flip-flop or another uh, flip-flop, okay, kamu boleh. For RS, okay, so make sure that R equal to Q bar and S sama dengan Q. Okay, R kamu sambungkan kepada Q bar, S kamu sambungkan Q. Kalau kamu pakai D flip-flop, D ni kamu sambungkan kepada Q bar. Okay, untuk T flip-flop, T kamu sambungkan kepada satu. Untuk JK flip-flop, J and K must connected to one. This is how to make all the flip-flop operate in toggle mode. Okay, so the design connection is the same. If you want more bit, just add another more flip-flop. Okay, the difference in connection will determine whether we want to count up or down by using which type of flip-flop, either a positive edge or negative edge trigger. Okay, so any question? Sampai sini. Ada soalan tak? Untuk asynchronous binary counter. Kalau tak ada soalan, next kita nak masuk asynchronous decade counter. Ada soalan, guys? Any question? Okay, if no question, okay, we take... 30 minutes break. Lepas tu kita sambung pada pukul sebelas setengah. Boleh tak? Boleh, Doktor. Boleh, eh? Okay. So, kita stop dulu and then kita sambung pada pukul sebelas setengah.